So as we know, hair is um, a very is a very important thing to a lot of people for many reasons. Um, it can be a really powerful tool for gender expression, but it could also be um, really affirming to our gender identity. For myself, going to a barber shop um, for the very first time, it was actually very nerve wracking. I didn't know the terminology. I was in a comfortable environment, and I also felt like I didn't belong there. But I kept going because um, when I got my first cut, um, I remembered it was the first time I ever saw myself, how I actually envisioned myself. For me, I was like, am I passing? <laughs> like, can I really know that <laughs> I'm not? What they appear to be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was uncomfortable only because there was hell. I feel like all the dudes there were just questioning if I was a girl or a guy, mainly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when I went to, they would like question kind of like, are you sure? That's like kind of like how short you want to go. Because he was like, are you sure that you want to fall? After many years of going to different barbershops, I actually learned different ways to kind of create a better barbershop experience for myself. One of those ways was actually like just going in confident and kind of knowing and owning my space there and knowing that like I belong in this space too. I actually did research on my barber. You know, I researched about like if they could do the haircut that I wanted and um, I had like a picture to show them. What would you say like advice for someone going to the barbershop for the first time? I feel like coming prepared with even just a picture or just like if you research their social media like hey like I really like what you did here but then you know kind of go on like what you liked about that picture like oh I really like how tight the sides were. Also not being scared to tell your barber right. exactly what you want was that oftentimes when I went to barber shops I knew that it wasn't the right fit for me when I would go in sit down and like I would go kind of specifically how I wanted my sides or how I wanted the top of my hair and they would be like ah oh, it's okay I got it yeah I feel like you know if you're going to a barber and the barber is not listening to what you're saying that probably that's the clear sign you should not be with a barber again mm -hmm. you know <laughs> Obviously, I'm actually this question is for you as a barber. In what ways do you see gender play a role in the work that we do? Whenever we get walk-ins, they don't look at me first. Mm -hmm. They look at the guys first. And they always ask me if I know how to cut. Why do you think that is? Because I am a female. Yeah. I know that's what it is. Wow. And uh it's it sucks because it's that's the industry that I work in, but I mean, you just have to break that mold, break the boundaries. Like you mentioned, uh, being confident and being prepared helps you creating a better barbershop experience. Um, to help you better prepare yourself for this experience, we actually created like a series of videos which August um, you see August haircuts there. Basically, it's just a series of videos of different hairstyles or haircuts that are most requested in a barbershop. Anyone, regardless of gender identity, should be able to express their hair however they want. Whether you're trans, gender expansive, gender non-binary, we hope through this project, it provided you some tools to create a better vision of yourself. Thank you so much. See you all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>